Hi, this is Dr. Jason Bickell, and I want to talk today about the big debate or issue over thyroid hormone replacement. You know, bioidentical versus synthetic. What's the difference? What's this all about? Um, why all the issues here? All right, so, uh, and, and this has come up recently because I've had quite a few patients come in asking about the differences and if there's a good or bad, and uh, they've read some books lately, they've um, seen some things on the internet lately um, about the what they uh, thought were differences there. Also, even hearing some things from their endocrinologist or their primary care physician about possible differences and how one may not be better than the other or, or one worse than the other. So, first thing we got to look at is what's the number one cause in the United States of hypothyroidism? Well, first of all, we know that it's Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which isn't a thyroid problem in itself, but it means your immune system is attacking your thyroid. That's an autoimmune condition, and that's not a good thing, but again, it's the most common cause according to the research. So, the thing is, is if you take synthetic and you feel better, fantastic. If you take armor and you feel better, fantastic. But let's say you take Synthroid and you feel worse. Well, we've got to say, okay, what could this be caused by? Well, first let's, again, backpedal just a little. If Hashimoto's is the cause of your problem, that means your immune system is attacking enzymes um, that are used for thyroid hormone conversion called TPO enzymes and thyroglobulin enzymes. Now the thing is, is if your immune system is attacking those guys, that means your immune system is kind of on red alert right now already. So if you take Synthroid or some of the other synthetics, sometimes they have fillers or binders in them. Um, and sometimes the immune system can react to those fillers or binders and that can cause trouble or symptoms. Some people it does, some people it doesn't. Everybody's different. Now, the same thing too is if your immune system continues to have problems and then all of a sudden decides I'm going to attack T4 and T3, which is not a good thing, and you are taking armor or nature thyroid or something like that, um, sometimes that can create symptoms or problems too. So again, some people who, who come in to the clinic here and they are taking armor and they said, you know, I started taking armor, but I feel worse ever since I did. But everybody says it's so wonderful and so great. Well, they, they are different. And, and again, your body's going to respond differently to each one. So when we really get to the bottom of this, the debate is really not about one or the other. The debate is more about which one works for you. Because at the core of the whole thing, we really just need to push that issue off to the side. It's not the true issue. It's not the true problem. The true problem is, do you have primary hypothyroidism? If so, take your thyroid medication. You do better. You don't have symptoms. Everything is great. If you don't just have primary hypothyroidism, but you have secondary hypothyroidism, meaning it's caused by an autoimmune issue like Hashimoto's, or it's being caused by conversion problems of your hormones other places in your body, that's a whole nother game. And that's what we have to focus on because if that's you, then you're one of those people who is not primary hypothyroidism. And again, the, the thyroid hormone debate is not going to really help you. What's going to help you is finding a doctor who knows what are the different causes of the secondary hypothyroidism and if it is Hashimoto's, how to address the immune system. Or if it's one of the secondary issues like the liver, not converting T4 to T3, or other issues like that, how to address those issues. Because no matter what you do thyroid hormone-wise, synthetic, non-synthetic, you know, natural, it isn't going to make a difference for you. And if it is, it's only temporary, and then you'll be right back to square one. So again, if you're suffering with those types of problems, need to be investigated further, and that's really the key. All right, thank you.